right, so we've got our setup. Uh, question one is going to be um, a typical acceptability question, right? We're being asked which one does not violate the stated conditions. Um, so the way I like to do these is going through the conditions one by one and finding the rule breakers. Okay, question one. So I'll just write out our options here. So the first one, we're looking for any where we have PN or NP, and A breaks that rule, so we eliminate A. Then we're looking um, to make sure that one of these three things, oh, I'm sorry, so that actually has to be true. So we're looking for something where that's not the case. Um, so A is fine, B is fine, C is fine, D is fine, um, E is the one that violates that rule. So. Uh, we actually have to have P sitting immediately next to N. Okay, next rule. Um, so one of these three things has to be true. So I'm just gonna look for L, and as long as M or N is near, like immediately next to L, then I'm okay. So A breaks that rule, right? So there L is next to O, it's also next to K because um, the sixth position and the first position are next to each other. So A is out. Um, so E breaks rule one, A breaks rule two. Now three is where we cannot have K and M next to each other. Um, and I see in D, they're trying to sneak that one past us, but K is first and M is sixth. Those two would be next to each other in a circle. So D is out because it breaks rule three. Rule four is conditional, so we're only going to apply it if uh, one of the triggering conditions, the sufficient conditions, is met. So um, if O and P are next to each other, then we can apply this rule. B and C are the only ones we have left. Um, C fulfills the sufficient condition here, so we can't have O next to M, but uh, with C we do have O next to P and also next to M. That's not allowed. So C breaks rule four, and B must be the correct answer. Um, so for B, if we were to draw that around our little asterisk or star here, um, what would that actually look like? So B, we start with K, then P, N, M, O, L. That's A. My goodness, a little bit turned around today. All right, um, K, L, M, P, N, O. All right, so um, we have N and P next to each other. We have L and M next to each other. We do not have M and K next to each other. That's good. Um, and we don't have O and P next to each other or O and M next to each other. So neither of the triggering conditions are met for rule four, so we don't have to worry about the consequences there. So that's one acceptable solution.